Bliss shaders for Minecraft 1.21. That is what I'm going to teach you how to download install in this video. And something pretty cool that you're also going to learn is how to take off the shaders with just a bun and then how to put them back on with just a bun as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step to download Bliss shaders is to click the second link in the description, which is going to bring you over here, which is the files page within CurseWorks for Bliss shaders. You could also download these shaders from ModRinth, okay? But in this case, we're going to use the CurseWorks page, but you could search up on Google ModRinth Bliss shaders and download it from there. Once over here, scroll down and find the most recent version. In this case, it's 1.20.1, which is not 1.21, but don't worry because it is still compatible with the newest version of Minecraft. We're still going to use this one, even though it doesn't say that it's compatible, it is, and you will see in a second, okay? So once over here, go ahead and click on these three dots and click download file. Then the download will begin for Blitz shaders. By the way, this version right here is not compatible with the age or distant horizons. So if you're using the distant horizons mod, you're going to have to download the in development version, which you can find in their GitHub page. So you just search up Blitz shader GitHub and then download it from there. If you want to use these shaders with distant horizons. As of right now, the latest release or the most stable version, the one that is working, is not compatible with the age, unfortunately. Okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and wait for the shaders to download. And while the shaders are downloading, here's a message from Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, either Java or a Bedrock server, a server that is open the whole time so you don't have to worry about port forwarding or IP attacks or IP leaks or anything like that because this server is hosted online and you could set it up in less than five minutes, then Apex Hosting is the perfect server for you. They will actually give you 25% off if you use the first link in the description. And something that I personally love besides them having locations all around the world so you don't have to worry about good connections or bad connections is that you could actually access a server console through your phone, which means that you could be away from the house, you could be at Walmart or something and you still have control to your server. I'm going to leave that first link in the description for 25% off and now let's keep going with the tutorial. And once the shader is downloaded, you can find it here in your recent download history and I want you to go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. Now with Bliss shaders in our desktop, if you already have some type of shader loader like Optifine or Iris, which it's probably Iris at this moment because Optifine 1.21 hasn't come out, more on that later. Anyways, if you already have some type of shader loaders like Iris, just add these shaders into your shader packs folder, into your shader packs folder that you could access through your video settings in the game, okay? I'm assuming if you already have some type of shader loader, you know how to add these shaders into the game. But if you don't have any shader loader, don't worry, we're going to go ahead and install one right now. And in this case, we're going to use Iris because like I said, Optifine is not ready for Minecraft 1.21 yet. So click on the third link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install Iris. You don't have to read through this, just scroll down to step one and click download Iris here. That redirects you over here, where we're going to click download now and then go ahead and click download Universal Jar, which will begin the download for Iris or at least Iris the installer immediately. Once we downloaded that file, let's go ahead and try and drop it into our desktop. So the Iris installer to our desktop. And now we are kind of ready to begin. The first thing you want to make sure you do is close your Minecraft game as well as your Minecraft launcher. And once Minecraft 1.21 has been closed and your Minecraft launcher as well, right click on Iris installer, click open with, and then select Java. And that will open the installer for Iris right here. Then go ahead and select 1.21, Iris only, and hit install. The only issue that you could have with this is that you don't have the newest version of Java installed in your computer because you will need Java 21 for this to work. The thing is that after Minecraft got updated to Minecraft 1.20.5, you now need Java 21 installed in your computer to open any type of jar file. And you guessed it, this is a jar file. The Iris installer is a jar file. So you're gonna need Java 21. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this guide in the description on how to download and install Java 21. It's probably gonna be the fourth link in there. It's pretty simple. You just download Java 21, hit next a couple of times, install it. Sometimes you might have to go over to other remote programs and delete your older versions of Java, like Java 17, Java 7, 8, or something like that, okay? That is in case you don't get to open the Iris installer. But most of you will get the Iris installer to open. And once you install 1.21, just go ahead and hit complete in here. Just go ahead and close the installer. And you could even delete the installer file. Now you don't need it anymore. And now go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And once the Minecraft launcher opens, if we install it properly, we should see it selected here automatically. As you can see, Iris and Sodium for 1.21 is selected here. Anyways, if you don't see it in there, just head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected because without modded, you actually won't see Iris in here. And if that still doesn't make Iris appear for you, just go ahead and click on new installation. I've named this whatever you want. Like for example, Apex Hosting, since it will give you 25% off using the first link for your first server. And then on the version, just look for Iris. You could go ahead and type Iris and then find the most recent one in here, which as you can see is 1.21 in here. Then select it and then just go ahead and click create here on the bottom right. And that will actually add an instance of fabric for you over here. Anyways, once you found Iris or created the instance, just go ahead and play on it. You might have to click in here a little prompt that says, I agree to playing modern Minecraft, whatever. Just go ahead and click play and wait for the game to open. Now, once the game opens, just go ahead and launch a world. It could be a single player or a multiplayer world because yes, shaders will work on multiplayer worlds as well. Now, once in the world, as you can see, I'm here, just a normal world. What we're going to do now is go ahead and press the letter O in our keyboard. Just go ahead and press the letter O and that is going to bring you over here. Another way to get here is just by pressing escape, heading over to options, then video settings in here and then shader packs and that'll bring you over here. But the shortcut is O, okay? Once over here, go ahead and click where it says open shader pack folder. By the way, don't worry if you don't see any of that in there. I have it because I already added shaders, but most of you will have this empty. Go ahead and click open shader pack folder and that is actually going to open a folder that most likely, like I was saying, will be empty for most of you. 
here and what you're going to do is simply drag and drop that bliss shader file that we downloaded earlier into here so go ahead and select bliss the shader that we downloaded earlier it should be a zip file you don't have to unzip it extremely important you don't have to unzip it just go ahead and drag and drop it into here and once you have the shaders in here go ahead and close this folder head back into the game and now you should see bliss shaders appear in here go ahead and click on that click apply and now give it a second for it to load depending on your computer it might take longer than me or maybe it takes less time just go ahead and apply it click done 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 back to the game and now you have bliss shaders and wow these are some beautiful shaders they really really made the game pop and oh my god they're so nice that is pretty much how to add bliss shaders for minecraft 1.21 like i said earlier it was going to work even though it said that it wasn't because it was for an older version but as you can see it is working with no issues and something pretty cool that you could actually do with iris as a shader loader is that you could just press the letter k and actually the shaders will go away and if you press letter k again on your keyboard the shaders will appear back up and you will have shaders once again so that is pretty much how to install bliss shaders if this tutorial helped you out don't forget to subscribe and as always bye bye